In this tutorial, I'll talk about fetching data from the database. In coming few tutorials, I'll talk about some simple but important concepts, which being a developer, you must know because you will be using those concepts frequently in your day to day tasks. Fetching of data from database is one of them, or sometimes you call it prefill data, but this is not exactly prefill service. We are not fetching data using prefill service, but we are doing the same thing, but using a different concept, which has more control, means developer has more control over it. I will not write any code. So in some cases, uh, you need to fetch data from the database. For example, you may need to fetch data and page load, means form load or on a button click or when you select a particular item in a drop down in those cases there might be a scenario where you will be fetching data till now i have already explained how to insert or add data in database from the form in this we'll see how to fetch that data back from the database so in this tutorial we'll see how to create form data model i have already explained this but i will explain again because and i did not explain how to create form using form data model straight away i explain create form manually and then add form data model to that but in this tutorial we'll see you can straight away create form using that data model like we created form using json schema or xml schema so i'll create a form data model new model you can already see there is already tutorial available where i explain in detail then i'll write a rule and by writing that rule we'll call a service service which is defined by creating this form data model this is also a concept and then we'll fetch data from the database for a particular entity using button click so this is our use case i'll will create a form data model called prefilled prefill model name can be anything and we will have a same form this form i already used or i always use this form like author form which has author id name email date of birth gender same form we use when add this author detail in database here i add one more button along with form author id I put a author ID in this author ID field and when I click button means the get data name can be anything this de these details related to this author must populate in other fields means data should fetch from the database and should be populated here. So for that we'll writing a rule. So I have already explained in tutorial number five of the same series how to create form data model. But let me create one more time. Make sure your database is up. Let me create a prefill model already there. And next, select your database. Already explain how to do that. And it's done. Just add it now this is available now you have to add services to that that i have already explained when it is created you will see your database which is here and you will see the tables so we will be using this table select this table select that services and add all right now you must define the services add three services just added that edit property this i have already explained so give some name and i'll give the name and select table author and this is my author id obviously to get disable this i don't need array and name it something let's say author get author okay get authors edit another one just done save okay you need to add another one as well then you'll be able to save so so for insert as well title select a model and you are done okay select last one as well update this is important i i'll use this in coming tutorial so let me not do it right away Let, let's finish that let's finish that as well okay update update author author model is this and this is obviously the table and the id okay because when you update something you need to pass your primary key so i'll use this and we are done save it all are done now you have to add these default services as well if you want you can add it otherwise we'll do it later but let's do it right away okay model 
select edit property I have already explained this and update this here okay so let's say author author service you have to add both read service is a get one and inside this you binding select literal okay and field is my author ID it's already there now for the right service choose insert service and obviously I'll be inserting all and done save it now all the errors are gone all errors and warning are gone so now our for this model is ready now create form using that model so create form create adaptive form choose our template quickly and name it like say prefill form okay choose model so we are using this model and select this model model prefill all right create so form has been created just edit that till now I have already explained in previous tutorials so now what you need to understand here is this okay so we'll create form earlier let me add it so earlier what we did we one by one drag and drop these components here and create form so that is not necessary you remember how you were creating form using JSON schema and XML schema same way go to this source means data source and you will find this service the service what we created okay in previous step we, when we were creating model so just drag and drop here and your form is ready now you do not need to add any binding okay so this if you see this field you will see already binded here so if you see this is already binded with the field of my service or you can say the database okay so now I'll add a button here so let me go to this uh, layout mode and let me make it few less columns and again add it add a button button any button you can add and add button it here all right again go to the layout so that I can make it in a one row make it again now it came in a one row so I'll, I'll not make it you know beautiful this so you need to understand a concept here and make it again add it and just name it name it something like let's say get author all right get author name something it's not necessary but just add it get author all right save it now the important part comes in now you have to write a rule which says on click of this fetch the data and populate these fields but how you will be writing so basically you do not need to write any code for it there is a rule editor click you will see this icon hammer icon so this is a rule editor create a rule which says okay this my selected get author is selected what what you want I want is click when this is click then what you need so then what I need I need to invoke a service there are number of options available you can choose as per your need we are supposed to call a service which will be fetching data so I'm I saying I need to call a service what service so you will see number of service this is a book data model we created earlier geek data model created earlier prefill this prefill model and we define three services you remember so we will be using this get authors all right what will be your input obviously my input would be my ID what will be the output my other fields obviously I want to keep it ID as well name again date of birth just you need to select so whatever earlier you were doing use writing code now you can do it through the UI okay email and gender obviously gender and you are done just save it all right your rule has been created just close this and go to the preview mode okay preview mode we came in preview mode now select ID so let's say I want to fetch the details which has ID 1 I did not write any code 1 
when I click on this is service should in call invoke and see the data has been populated data has been fetched from the database it's not necessary you can write this rule over this field as well some other field as well it's completely up to you you just need to edit or create a rule okay this is done so now data has been fetched and populated here now let's verify this data in database so go to the workbench okay my workbench all right and click open so now use this i'm setting my database which database i need and select from authors all right you will see here one one was these detail am geeks this 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 okay same detail has been fetched so let me fetch it for number three means id three all right so now if i fetch and now it should be geeks only and it this has been updated okay so that way you can fetch data from database without writing any code so in coming tutorials we'll see we'll use the same form to insert data we will have one more button here which actually you will be using to update data later on because just fetching data does not make any sense you will be doing something with that data so we'll use this form for other concepts as well i hope you understood if you have any question please add a comment and please understand this concept this model properly so i will be using same model in coming few tutorials okay if you did not check that go back in this series go to the tutorial number five and see how to write model how to define services with that model that is important thank you